bubble is in vacuum there is an ideal diatomic gas inside it it is being heated slowly then what will happen it will start expanding at a great speed in most of the question in thermodynamics there is always a relationship given between the thermodynamic variables like so 3 r by 2 plus 5 r by 2 it gives you 4 r so for this particular process hello dear students today we will take up a question based on thermodynamics basically which also involves a soap bubble so this is a simple question but tricky once you recognize the trick in the question it is really a routine question let us see how many of you can really recognize that trick so here is the question the question says a bubble of radius r containing a diatomic ideal gas has the soap film of thickness less less than r and is placed in vacuum which means there is a soap bubble which has a very thin skin as usually it is with all the soap bubbles the radius is quite large compared to thickness of the uh, liquid that is forming the soap bubble so thickness is too small compared to radius now this soap bubble contains a diatomic gas the surface tension is sigma surface tension of the liquid is sigma now the question says find the formula for molar heat capacity of the gas in the bubble for such a process when the gas is heated slowly so that bubble remains in mechanical equilibrium now the by some mechanism when the mechanism has not been specified but the question says the gas inside the bubble is heated it is heated very slowly so that bubble is in mechanical equilibrium which means uh, if you really heat it very fast then the surface may accelerate any small segment on the surface may get accelerated so that is not there it is always in mechanical equilibrium uh, that means any part of the surface is not accelerated you can always treat it to be at uh, in to treat it to be in equilibrium as such and there is another keyword in the question that the bubble is kept in vacuum bubble is in vacuum there is an ideal diatomic gas inside it it is being heated slowly and the bubble is in mechanical equilibrium always what will be molar specific heat capacity actually molar uh, specific heat capacity it should be specific heat capacity please molar specific heat capacity okay molar heat capacity is molar specific heat capacity only molar heat capacity means heat capacity for one mole isn't it so okay molar heat capacity of the gas uh, for such a process so usually what do we do uh, when we are asked a question uh, to find the specific heat capacity for a certain kind of thermodynamic process uh, we have a routine procedure that we follow isn't it uh, let us look at the procedure uh, first thing that is obvious is pressure of the gas is 4 sigma by r i hope all of you know this here the outside pressure is zero because it is vacuum right so pressure inside the soap bubble is more than the outside pressure by an amount 4 sigma by r where sigma is the surface tension i hope all of you know this so when the question says that this soap bubble is in mechanical equilibrium it means this pressure is really this much larger than the outside pressure if this pressure happens to be more far more than this number then what will happen it will start expanding at a great speed so that is not happening that is not happening the it is expanding but it is expanding very slowly we can always assume that this pressure is 4 sigma by r if this pressure happens to be larger than 4 sigma by r then the surface will expand at terrible speed i mean it will accelerate basically so that is not the case which means always the pressure is 4 sigma by r okay that is understood now the routine process that we follow for finding molar specific heat capacity of a gas in a certain process goes like this uh, we write the first law of thermodynamics we assume that certain amount of heat dq is added to this gas okay because of that the internal energy of the gas in changes by du and work done by the gas is dw if you supply the heat to this gas the soap bubble expands very gradually that is what the question says 
ok. So, work is also being done by the gas because it is expanding volume is changing. So, d q is d u plus d w. Now, d q the heat supplied uh, the heat supplied can be written as n c d t where d t is a small change in temperature of this gas n is number of moles of this gas present inside this soap bubble and c is the molar specific heat capacity for this particular process. This is the definition of molar heat capacity is not it. If I supply a heat d q and temperature changes by d t then definition of c is d q by n d t. That means, rate of uh, basically uh, the molar heat capacity simply means that how much heat is required to change the temperature of 1 mole of a given gas by unit amount by 1 degree Celsius. So, d q heat is required to change the temperature by d t, d q by d t is amount of heat required to change the temperature by 1 unit uh, by unit and for 1 mole it will be 1 upon n d q by d t that is how you define molar specific heat capacity. And everybody knows that for any kind of process associated with an ideal gas the change in internal energy is always n c v delta d t. So, I have written d u as n c v d t and if the pressure instantaneous pressure is p and small change in volume is d v then work done is p d v. So, this is the standard thing is not it. Now, what we do in any question uh, we try to express this in, ter in terms of change in temperature if d t d t d t cancels out you get the value of c for a, a specific process. So, the most critical thing is to manipulate this term to express it in terms of d t change in temperature and there is a fix right now. In most of the question in thermodynamics there is always a relationship given between the thermodynamic variables like if I say that gas is executing a process where p v square is constant. Suppose I say that gas is undergoing a process where p v square is equal to constant. If any such equation is given then we along with this equation we use ideal gas equation and we are able to somehow manipulate and express this in terms of d t and that gives the answer to our question. But the serious problem here is there is no such relationship given here. Can you see any such relationship given in this particular question? Can you video pause karke socho 2 minute, 3 minute, 4 minute, 5 minute tak socho ek bar. Can you see this kind of relationship given in this question? Please pause the video. Yes, there is one such relationship given here, is not it? This is the relationship. Can you see that? Can you see that? What is this? This is basically P into R is a constant. The surface tension is a constant. So, P is pressure of this gas, R is the radius of this spherical enclosure, uh, spherical bubble. So, pressure into radius is constant. So, actually pressure or volume ke beech ka relation diya hai, is not it? R cube is proportional to volume. So, if you cube this, just put cube on both the sides, what do you get? What do you get? P cube P to the power 3 into volume V is a constant. So, that is the relationship, that is the relationship. Uh, this is the relationship that is given actually. If you just take cube of this expression, then R cube is some volume, volume into some constant, volume by some constant or volume into some constant. So, P cube into V is a constant, that is the relationship that is given here. So, now the question becomes extremely easy, I guess. Uh, many of you will now be able to solve this question very easily. Abhi bhi kar sakte ho to kar lo. Main jaldi se, jaldi se, bahut jaldi se is question ka solution yaha pe aapko dikha deta hoon. So, now the next step is, I have divided this by dt and dt basically and this becomes C is equal to Cv plus Pdv by n dt. Uh, just simple manipulation. Now, my necessary step is going to be find dv by dt. Uh, by some way and now I have got this relationship. So, it is very easy. Now, use this equation along with P v is equal to n r t because it is an ideal gas. So, using this equation along with P v is equal to n r t you will be able to prove that T cube v minus 2 is a constant. It is very easy. I mean you just need to eliminate P. Uh, P v is equal to n r t. So, in place of P you can write n r t by v, n r t by v uska cube. So, you can easily see that you will get an expression of this kind. 
if you separate all the constants on one side. Now, you can take logarithm of this equation and differentiate because I want to get dv by dt. So, just take logarithm 3, 3 log t minus 2 log v is equal to constant and differentiate it with respect to t. And if you do that, you will get dv by dt is equal to 3 v by 2 t, 3 v by 2 t. So, just substitute dv by dt is equal to 3 v by 2 t here, here is the substitution. The value of Cv for diatomic gas is 5 r by 2 and in place of dv by dt, I have written 3 v by 2 t. Now, this is simply 3 by 2 of Pv by Nt. Now, Pv is always equal to nRt. So, if you write in place of Pv nRt, if you put nRt, n will cancel out, t will cancel out and you will be left with 3 r by 2. So, 3 r by 2 plus 5 r by 2, it gives you 4 r. So, for this particular process, the specific heat capacity is 4 r. Aap mein se baut saare log yaad karke rakhe honge. ये एक पॉलीट्रॉपिक प्रोसेस है और ऐसे पॉलीट्रॉपिक प्रोसेस के लिए स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी का ये फार्मूला होता है यस यू कैन यूज दैट फार्मूला डायरेक्टली टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट कैपेसिटी बट द क्रिटिकल थिंग इन दिस क्वेश्चन वाज टू ऑब्टेन दिस एक्सप्रेशन दिस इज द रिलेशनशिप दैट यू आर सपोज्ड टू फाइंड आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दिस सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विद अ न्यू क्वेश्चन a new concept thank you